Hey guys, my name is That Quiet Kid, and today we are going to do a room called Passive Reconnaissance on Try Hack Me. Uh, in this room, we will learn about the essential tools for passive reconnaissance, such as who is NS Lookup and Dig. So the tools are who is, which is used to query uh, who is servers, that is the domain name information, the registration, and other things like registration date and the registrar registrant and ns lookup is actually to carry uh, dns servers which means it it uh, it tries to show us the ip address of the domain name and it also does the same thing so let's start this room and we will also learn the usage of two online services that is dns dumpster and shodan so let's dive right into it passive versus active reconnaissance so what is passive reconnaissance in passive reconnaissance we rely on publicly available knowledge it is the knowledge that you can access from publicly available uh, resources without directly engaging with the target think of it like you are looking at target territory far uh, for uh, from afar without stepping foot on that territory looking up dns records of a do domain name from a public dns server is an example of passive reconnaissance checking job ads related to target website comes under this as well and reading news articles about the target company also under passive reconnaissance reconnaissance now what is active reconnaissance on the other hand can be it can be achieved so discreetly it requires direct engagement with the target think of it like you check the locks on the doors and windows among other potential entry points so active is kind of like engaging with the target it more it is more into engaging into target uh, the examples are connecting to one of the company's servers such as http ftp that is file transfer protocol which uses port 21 and smtp which is simple mail transfer protocol uh, that is calling the company in a uh, second is the calling the company in an attempt to get information that is social engineering also comes under uh, this active reconnaissance and third is entering company premises pretending to be a repairman okay so you visit Facebook page you visit the Facebook page of a target company hoping to get some of the uh, some of their employee names what kind of reconnaissance activity is this I think we are visiting the page so I think it is passive reconnaissance i guess it is passive yes it was you ping the ip address of the company web server to check if icmp traffic is blocked what kind of reconnaissance activity is this if you are pinging the ip address of a company that is you are kind of engaging with the server so i think it comes under active reconnaissance so i will type a here because a is for active and p is for passive you happen to meet an IT administrator of the target company at a party, you try to use social engineering to get more information about the systems and network infrastructure. What kind of reconnaissance activity is this? I think we are trying to use social engineering as we already read in the second point that if you are using social engineering that it then it comes under active reconnaissance. Okay, so we have completed task 2. Now let's move on to task 3 which is who is. Who is a request and response protocol that follows the RFC RFC 3912 specification? It basically listens on port TCP 43 for incoming uh, requests. Uh, the particular uh, topic we, which in which we are interested are uh, we can get the registrar, uh, contact information of the registrant, creation update update and exp expiration dates of the you know domain and name servers which server to ask to resolve the domain name you know that when you uh, send a request uh, when you type a domain name into your uh, machine the first your computer goes into your host file and if it doesn't find uh, in the host file the IP address of the domain name you type then it goes to DNS servers DNS servers are usually uh, created by our uh, ISP that is internet service provider or it is some uh, by other servers as well 
so this is which server to ask to resolve the domain name into IP address the main point here is uh, to resolve the domain name that is the humanly understandable name like tryhackme.com to the uh, to the uh, IP address which our computer understands so as already told you when you uh, type a domain name your browser goes to your host file which is in your computer to find the IP address and if it doesn't find it there then it moves to uh, you know uh, other web servers which uh, which are usually handled handled by your ISP or other likes other services like Google or uh, Google Facebook etc. So it is all theory. So let's run who is on tryhackme.com. Okay, so let's paste it here. Okay, so what is the first question? When was tryhackme.com registered? So let's see when it was. Uh, creation date is 2018 7th month which means July or 5th of July yes 5th of July I guess I think uh, first one is format is year then month then date so it's, it's 5th of July 2018 let's see if it is right or not it is right what is the registrar of tryhackme.com what is the registrar it is i guess registrar url is namecheap.com registrar who is server is who is dot name cheap.com so i so i think it is namecheap.com so let's see namecheap.com and it is which company is tryhackme.com using for name service so let's go down here i think uh, name server is skip.ns.cloudfare.com so it is using cloudfares uh, you know for name server cloudfare is kind of like protection i ex i actually used a kind of fake cloudfare page in one of my videos you can check it out uh, i will include the link for that video in the description it was actually a for gathering uh, for getting the username and passwords of a username video it was social engineering video it was a now <coughs> uh, ns lookup and deep in the previous task we got information about a domain name and in this ns lookup we will try to get the ip address uh, of that domain name uh, linked to that domain name so it has query types that is a which is for if you want to get ipv4 addresses four times a if you want to get ipv6 c name if you want to get a uh, canonical name mx for mail servers soa for start of authority and txt for txt records txt records is basically uh, the when your web's uh, domain uh, txt uh, txt records are actually uh, the text records which are stored on domain servers I guess I'm not sure about it but I think these are stored as txt files on uh, domain servers I guess it's I think so let's go down a bit then it is using dig which is just which does the same thing as uh, what was it uh, which does the same thing as uh, this ns lookup so check the txt records of tryhackmelabs.com so let's check it out what is the flag there we will do this through both ways first is ns lookup look up but i think i forgot the syntax let's see the syntax i think we have to specify what type of documents we want to access yes we have to specify that type and then the domain name so ns look okay why is it okay let's type it here ns look up um, type was txt and domain name was i guess tryhackmelabs.com so here is our flag copy it and we will do it through dig as well which means it's the syntax for dig is okay let's see what is the syntax for dig it is try hack me and then specifying the document we want to record we want to access 
so it was tryhackme labs.com and specifying the type so in this way I we have got the flag through both dig and nslookup so let's paste the flag in here okay so dns dumpster what does it do dns dumpster D, uh, dns dumpster so i from which i can from what i can see uh, there is a possibility that one of these subdomains has been set up so it is actually used for finding subdomains you know uh, when you try to uh, access a website like try hack me but it has some subdomains like help.tryhackme.com or blog.tryhackme.com which we do not get through ns lookup and dig now we will use dns dumpster for this let's go to dns dumpster okay so let's see the domain name link to uh, subdomains of tryhackme.com Okay, it was tryhackme.com. Let's search. Okay, so it is showing its DNS servers, MX records, that is mail, I guess mail server records, or something TXT record. Then tryhackme.com, remote.tryhackme.com and blog.try I think we saw blog and now we have to find is what is one interesting subdomain that you would discover in addition to www and blog it is remote highlight yes I am right because we saw tryhackme we saw remote we saw blog so let's move on to the last shodan uh, when you when you are tasked to run a penetration test against specific targets as part of the passive reconnaissance phase a service like shodan.com can be okay so let's open this in another tab This can be useful to learn various pieces of information about the client's network without actively connecting to it. Uh, furthermore, on the defensive side, you can use different services like shodan.io to learn about connected and exposed devices belonging to your organization. So we get to know about the devices which are exposed to the internet and have, you know, kind of vulnerable or I can say that weak passwords or anything. It will show us the exposed devices of our network so let's so what we have to find here i think what according to shodan.io what is the second country in the world in terms of number of publicly accessible apache servers so i think let's search apache and see what we get second uh, second country in the world in terms of number of publicly accessible apache servers first one is usa second is germany so i think the answer to this is germany Based on shodan.io, what is the third most common port used for Apache? And let's go down a bit. Port top ports, first one is 80, second is 443, third is 8080. Based on shodan.io, what is the third most common port used for uh, Ninja, Ninja, Nginx? I guess it's pronounced Nginx. Uh, third most common port used for Nginx. So let's see. The third is 884 times 8. This is the port used for solar. I think we have completed this room. We looked over, we covered command line tools like who is NS lookup and dig. We also used, you know, publicly available services like DNS Dimson, Shodan.io. And command line example for lookup, who is record, DNS a record are also written here. The syntax for using those tools. Make sure you note all the points discussed in the room, especially the syntax for command line tools. So 
so i think we have completed this room so that's it for this video and thank you for watching